Hey guys, how's it going? Heartben here, and I'm bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. This time it's how to install Optifine 1.6.2 using the new Minecraft launcher, so you don't need Magic Launcher or anything. Alright, so the files you're going to need are WinRAR. Most of you guys probably already have that, but if you don't, go ahead and check the description for the download. Uh, the other downloads will be there as well. You're going to need Notepad++, and you're going to need Optifine 1.6.2. So first things first you're going to want to go and open up your .minecraft folder if you don't know how to get there just click the start button and hit percent app data percent and hit enter that's going to be the f probably going to be the first folder all right so in this folder you're going to find a folder called versions so double click that and you're going to see all the versions of minecraft that you have right now i just have 1.6.2 but that's the only one that you need for this tutorial. So find your 1.6.2 folder, double click that, and in here you're going to see these two files. So go ahead and grab both of these. I'm not sure if some of you guys might have um, more files in this, but these are the ones that you need. And then you go back into the versions folder, and then you're going to go ahead and click new folder, and then you can name this folder anything you want to, but you have to remember how it's typed out. So I'm just gonna I'm just going to call mine 1.6.2 Optifine. Alright, so then we'll double click that and paste those files that we just copied. Now take this JSON file and right click it and then uh, edit with Notepad++. So the first line of this is gonna be ID and then it says 1.6.2 so I named my folder Optifine or 1.6.2 Optifine. So what I need to do is make sure that the folder name and the ID match. So all I have to do is name it 1.6.2 Optifine. And then you're going to have to hit save. And then you need to name each of these files the same thing as the, the folder name. So I'll click rename 1.6.2 Optifine. Same with this file, 1.6.2, Optifine, and make sure you leave the .json. And uh, from here, you need to right-click the jar, and then open with WinRAR Archiver. Now the first thing you need to do is delete meta-inf. This is where a lot of people mess up when they're installing different kinds of mods and stuff. If you get a black screen, I know a lot of people forget to delete the meta inf. So do that. Then you take your Optifine 1.6.2 download. Double click that. There we go. Get rid of the dialog thing. And then uh, you can click Control A to select all the files in the Optifine that you downloaded and then drag it on over into the jar. Hit OK. And then we can close all this stuff out. Now what we need to do is launch Minecraft. And from here, all you got to do is click New Profile. Uh, you can name the profile anything you want to. I'm going to name mine 1.6.2 Optifine. Now from here, you can actually change the resolution of the screen. You can uh, change how much RAM you let Minecraft use. You can use old versions of Minecraft if you want to. But for this tutorial, I'm going to do is show you how to get this to work. So go to use version and then find the one that you named. I named mine 1.6.2 Optifine and uh, that's it. So I named the profile and selected the version then you click save profile. Next you have to remember to go down here where it says profile and click whichever profile you just made and then click play and hopefully when I go to options you'll be able to see that I have um, a whole bunch of new video settings so I can set my render distance past far I can go to animations and turn off just potion particles if I wanted to um, turn on clear water you can pretty much change whatever you want to and uh, let's see what else you can change your chunk loading you can really customize how you want Minecraft to work with Optifine, but most people are just going to download it so it lets their Minecraft run smoother. So uh, hopefully that helps you guys. Sorry if it was a little bit long, but I want to make sure that you knew what you were doing. So be sure to subscribe and leave a like, and I will see you guys next time.